Moto Guru. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download, install, and use Garmin Express for Mac. Garmin Express is an application that enables you to install software updates, map updates, and also purchase additional products such as maps and safety camera subscriptions for your Garmin device. So the first thing we need to do is navigate to garmin.com forward slash express. Next, we click on download for Mac. Next, click on show downloads and double click on garminexpress.dmg. And then double click on install garminexpress.pkg. And this launches the installer. So firstly, we have a message saying this package will run a program to determine if the software can be installed. And there's a security warning. I'm going to click on continue. And the installer says, welcome to the Garmin Express installer. You will be guided through the steps necessary to install this software. So click continue. And you're presented with the software license agreement. So read through this quickly and click on continue. And then you're further prompted as to whether you agree or disagree with the uh, license agreement. In order to continue and install the software, we must click agree. Next, it describes the installation type. So it will be installing on Macintosh HD and is 107.1 megabytes. So I click install. The final step, I need to enter the password for my computer and then I click install software. And now the software is installed. Garmin Express appears in the applications window and proceeds to launch. We have a final message saying installer wants access to control system events. So I'm going to click OK to permit that. So looking back at the installer, it says the installation was successful. The software was installed. I click on close and it asks whether I want to move the installer to the trash or to keep it. So this is just the program we use to install the software. We really don't need it anymore. So I'm going to click move to trash. So next we need to click on get started. And the first thing we need to do is add a device. So I'm going to click on add a device and it notes plug in a device stick or memory card. So I'm going to plug in my Garmin Zumo 590LM. So it's found my Garmin Zumo 590. So next I click add device. The next screen invites me to register my product with Garmin and sign up to their mailing list. I've already registered and I'm already on the mailing list. So I'm just going to click next. And finally, I'm invited to enter a nickname for the device. This is what the device will show up as within Garmin Express. I'd recommend just leaving it as the default product name. And now it says that setup is complete and it checks for updates. This is the primary reason you would use Garmin Express to update software and maps on your device. So there are two updates available there. So let's go and click on view details and see what the first one is. So this is an update to the Cyclops safety camera subscription, which I've purchased. The second update is a map update. So this is an update to the full European coverage map that's installed on the device. If I click into this update, I have two additional options, reinstall the map and install the map to the computer. You may choose to reinstall the map, perhaps if you are having issues with it on the device and you wanted to do a clean install. Installing the map to the computer is something you'd use for Garmin Basecamp, which I'll deal with in a separate video. So I click back to take me back to the update screen and click on install to proceed with installing the updates. I'm presented with the terms and conditions so I can read through those quickly and click on accept. And that will now start downloading and installing the updates onto my device. So now it says installation is complete and I'm prompted once again to install further updates onto the device. So I click on install. When all map and software updates are installed, the software notes that we're up to date. 
you can check for updates at any time by clicking on this refresh arrow and it will check again. Now the device is up to date, let's look at some of the other options available to us within Garmin Express. So next let's look at tools and content. So this says view settings, manuals and purchase content. So if I click on that, it takes me to this screen where I'm presented with four tabs, info, utilities, purchased and privacy. So the first tab, info, this displays information about the devices you've added to Garmin Express. So currently I've only added one, which is my Zemo 590, and it describes the name, model, serial number and the current software version. Um, I'm invited to register this device again here if I haven't registered it already. If I click on get help with this product, it will take me to uh, the support site on Garmin.com and open a browser with help about the Zumo 590LM. Next, if I click on utilities, uh, this has several options available to us. So firstly, we have backup now. It notes we automatically back up your favorites from time to time, but you can also back them up manually. So if I click on backup now, this will back up my favorites uh, manually, even though they're automatically done from time to time. If you save a lot of favorites on your device, this may be something uh, that would be of interest to you. Underneath that, we've just got a checkbox that says always back up favorites before performing updates, and that's enabled by default. So if I scroll down a bit further, we have the optional updates. So two options from within here. Um, if I open up language files, this is where we can install different language packs on the device. So you can essentially get it to speak different languages. So if I was to install the Netherlands, uh, for example, then I would have a Dutch uh, language pack available on my device and I can have it speak Dutch. So if your native language isn't on your device at the moment, so perhaps you're a Dutch speaker and you'd like your uh, device to speak to you in Dutch, you can install the language pack from there. Next, I'm going to expand out the other file section. So there are some additional language packs within here. You'll notice the first four options are audio, TTS, which stands for text to speech. So there's a Mandarin Chinese language pack, two Taiwanese language packs and a Thai language pack. Uh, the reason there are two Taiwanese language packs is because they're two different voices. Mei, Yai and Ya Ling will be two different styles of voice. Then under that, we've got some simpler stuff. So we've got different uh, navigation arrows, if you like. So what vehicle will appear on the screen of the device uh, when you're driving around? And once you've selected one of these, so for example, if I selected this monster truck, then that will be available to select in the device. So this is just sort of personal preference stuff. Maybe you want a specific color arrow or a specific vehicle. Uh, there's a few different cars and uh, motorcycles uh, towards the bottom there. So if we select one of those and install that, then that will be available on the device. So we'd select one and choose install now. Then at the bottom, we've got help and manual. So these are links that launch uh, help and information in a web browser. So for example, if I was to click on the owner's manual, that will open a browser with a PDF of the user manual for the Garmin Zumo. And I can reference that uh, from there. The next option here, we've got remove from Express. So it says you can remove this device from Garmin Express so it doesn't show up on your device list. Now, reasons you may wish to do this are if you don't use the device anymore or perhaps you've sold it or given it to someone else, you can remove it from Garmin Express so it doesn't appear there anymore. And finally, we've got two uh, storage bars. So we've got device storage and SD card storage. So the first one shows us how much storage is being used on the actual device uh, for maps and data. And the second bar is for the SD card. I've installed an SD card on my uh, Garmin Zumo because I installed an additional map and I have a video about that too. I installed a map for uh, the USA and that's currently showing 27% uh, full. So you can just monitor how much data is being used up within those. So I'll scroll back up to the top and click on the purchase tab. So this shows a list of items I've purchased that are currently installed on the device. So you see I've got the Cyclops safety camera database for Europe which expires in March 2020 and I had previously purchased the Cyclops safety camera UK and Ireland database and that has expired. If I click on sign in 
and sign in with the account I registered at Garmin.com. This will show me all of the purchases I've had for this device. So I'm going to click on sign in. And that shows the complete list of items I've purchased. So I also recently purchased the uh, North America map. So that appears there too. And from here I can re-download these um, if I want to. You would also use this screen if you've purchased an additional map to download it. So I've an additional video showing you how I purchased and downloaded and installed the North America map. And that takes you through that entire process. So I'll click on the final tab, Privacy. And this notes uh, personal data, edit, sharing, and usage preferences for all your data and personal information in all Garmin properties, including Connect. So we have a link here to click on, which says manage personal data. And that opens a web browser and takes us to a uh, part of Garmin.com where we can manage our personal information within Garmin. Uh, if I scroll down, um, to the bottom here, we have the option for data management. So it says view the information Garmin maintains about your account, registered devices, mobile apps, and more. You can request a copy of it or ask us to delete it. So if I click on manage uh, your data, um, I've got the option to view, export, and delete the data that Garmin currently holds um, about me. So this is just stuff like the devices you've got registered and, uh, and so on. So moving back to Garmin Express, if I click on the back arrow, the final option I have on the right here is store, get content and accessories for your device. So if I click on that, it's firstly going to ask me to determine the region I'm in because this influences the products that are available to me. So I'm going to select United Kingdom and click on continue. So currently I can only purchase safety camera databases. So if I click on safety cameras, this will show me a list of the databases available for me to purchase. These show you the locations of uh, speed cameras and traffic light cameras and those sorts of things. So there we have Russia, Eastern Europe, UK and Ireland and so on. If I scroll down, a bit further you'll see that there's the safety cameras for Europe uh, this is one I've already purchased so if you wanted to purchase a safety camera subscription you just click on the amount there uh, click on accept the uh, terms and conditions and that takes you to this next screen where you can proceed to enter payment information and purchase that subscription then once you've purchased that subscription it'll be registered to your device and then when you connect to Garmin Express it will check for updates and download those to your device now that Garmin Express is installed it will continue to run in the background and if you reconnect a device it will launch and proceed to check for updates so that's how to download, install and use Garmin Express for Mac. Thanks for watching and remember to like, share and subscribe.